All right, guys, look. We're all gonna get stung. Look at all those bees, guys. Holy. Ow, I'm getting stung. Ow. We got him. Guys, now, you're probably wondering what's going on right now. If you guys saw the video where we caught the possums, you would see that in the beginning we had a brand new beehive. Well, that's all put together. It's out front. We're ready to get the bees, but we got to set up the base first to put it on. So let's go out there and check it out. Guys, check out these bees right here. These bees have been here for about three years inside this gargoyle statue. Now, they don't really bother us too much. We've only gotten stung a few times by being in their presence. I don't want to speak too loud because I could really piss them off, but we're definitely going to piss them off in a little bit because Daniel and I have to go in there and pull these bees out and put them in a new home. Now, this is going to be absolutely crazy. I've never done anything like this before. I feel like I have bees all around me. Guys, let me give you a proper intro. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you for all of the support. Thank you for coming back to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm working hard on them. You see I'm sweating out here. It's like 105 degrees. We got our base halfway set up. I don't really want to keep it on the ground because when you guys see this new beehive, you'll see that it is absolutely beautiful. It's made out of wood. I put hard work into it, staining it. It wasn't too cheap. So that's another aspect of wanting to keep it all nice. Oh gosh, guys, there are bees flying out. We're, we're gonna get attacked by bees today. <sighs> this is not gonna be fun. All right, so we've got our platform right here. This is where it's gonna sit. You guys will see our beehive will be right here. Guys, look how beautiful this bee box is. It's called the Flow Hive. It's a certain type of bee box. It's not just your ordinary bee box that looks just like this bottom section. In here, we have these unique flow frames, which actually are mechanical and they twist to allow honey to flow out so you don't disturb the bees as much when they put honey in there. They keep all of their honey and their brood and their babies that they create down here. So this is what they live off of. This is what they offer to us. And it should be a really cool system. Now there isn't anything in it yet because we have to get those bees out. Like I said, when harvesting the honey, it's going to disturb the bees a lot less. Less are going to have to get injured. Less are going to have to die. Usually you have to scrape them off and there's a whole process to it. This is a lot less invasive and check that and check out this over here, guys, right here. There's also a little plexiglass panel that we can open up and we'll be able to see the status of the honey and see the bees working in there. So updates on this are gonna be really, really cool. But like I said, we don't even need this top half for now because what we're gonna do is we have to set up these bees. We're gonna have to collect that honey and honeycomb in there, put it inside of some of these frames for them to live off of dump the bees into here from shop vacuuming them, find the queen, lock them in here, put it down, and hopefully they'll make this their new home. Before we do anything, Daniel and I are gonna have to run to Home Depot because we have to get rubber bands for those frames. We have to get something to scrape out the honey. We already got our bee suit though. We have our smoker, which is really crucial. Puffing this smoke on the bees is gonna really calm them down. It's gonna have a lot of them go inside the hive and not really bother us while we're working on trying to remove them. And then you guys are gonna get to see me wear this full bee suit, which should be interesting and hopefully protects me from getting stung a bajillion times, which I'm not allergic, but bee stings, one isn't so bad. 10, not a good day. 100, that won't even happen. That shouldn't even happen today. We just got back from the store. We got our rubber bands to put the honeycomb onto the frames that are existing in the bottom of the hive. We got our twine to put inside of here, which will burn really nice, create a good solid smoke to calm those bees down. But right now, I have got to put on the bee suit. Two hours later. All right, guys, look, we got, we're all swagged out now. We're all ready to go. I mean, this could be a good look for me. I, I think I could wear this, even though it's like 150 degrees outside, I'm probably going to get stunk. This is like, there's no division here. <laughs> Daniel's saying this is the cheapest bee suit that he's ever seen. I, I don't know what's gonna happen today, guys, but we're all gonna get stung. So I hope you guys are ready. I'm not ready for this. This is really gonna suck. But yeah, I mean, check it out. Look, we're ready for the bee extermination. Are you guys ready? I don't know. You're gonna have to wait and see. Instead of just having this really cheap hat on the top, we've got 
a hat underneath to keep the veil over my face so that they're not stinging our face because our face is the part that will swell up. If you guys have seen people that have gotten stung on their lips, your lips will literally swell up to like this big. I'm not kidding. This is a picture of Daniel's brother right here where he got stung on his lips. Not fun. Nick, if you're watching, I'm sorry we're calling you out. But anyhow, before we get started, we have to prep. We already got the hive ready. Gloves are taken off because it's hard to work with these. We're gonna put this whole thing into the smoker. This twine burns really well. I think we're just going to burn it, catch it right here, and then drop it in, and it should last a long enough time. Ooh. So we just gotta get this to catch really well. We don't want it to go out on us or else that would be a pain. We've got fire, guys. Look, so we're gonna stick the rest of that in there. It has to breathe, but look at that beautiful, constant smoke that it's making. That's what we're looking for. So we'll get nice puffs of controlled smoke onto the bees. Look at that. See that in there. Beautiful. This guard right here goes on the top to make sure that no particles go through, that it's just pure smoke. So we're just gonna drop it in like that. Beautiful smoke right there. I'm officially a beekeeper. I mean, guys, look at, you. Look at this. We're ready to go. The last step that we need to do is we need to band these frames. Now, the idea is that if you had one of these frames, they would make honeycomb and put their honey all throughout here, starting from the top and work their way down to the bottom to fill this frame. That's how a classic hive works. This is the way that they're gonna be able to breed, reproduce, and stay alive in this hive to thrive and grow and hopefully produce a lot of honey in the top portion. But what we have to do is we have to take these rubber bands and we have to put them all the way throughout these frames. So that way we can take the honeycomb that's already existing, put it between the rubber bands, and they have something to live off of when we put them in their new home. Putting on the gloves now. Daniel's experienced in doing this, guys. Now, he is helping me to film today, but he's also helping me with capturing the queen. What are we gonna put the queen in? Put it straight in the box, it'll be fine. We just gotta block the hole. We just have to block the hole, guys. Capturing the queen is the most important part. She lets out a pheromone which tells all the other bees to come to her, which makes them wanna breed with her. They'll literally ball up around her if we see her fall on the floor. Hopefully, it won't be too hard to find her because that's the main part. If we can't find her, then this is just gonna be collecting a bunch of honey and getting stung. But if we can find her, then we will be able to correctly relocate them and everything will go as planned. Daniel and I, clogged the back entrance and exit. That's the only way for the bees to get in and out of the hive once we dump them in there. The goal is that these will have the honeycomb in it. Like I said, the pre-existing stuff that we're gonna have to pull out of there. Look at all those bees, guys. Look at all of those bees. Holy, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be, you guys think alligators and stuff. If you guys haven't been to the channel before, I'm doing stuff with alligators and pythons and stuff that people would normally find crazy. This to me scares me probably the most out of any of it. First thing we gotta do, like I said, is smoke these guys. I'm gonna try to be a little bit quieter. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry, but I really don't wanna aggravate them that much. Look at them all. The trick is to do slow. Everything is slow, calm, if you're moving really fast, imagine if you're a bear ripping through their hive, they're not gonna like that at all and wanna attack. But if you're really slow, they're not gonna be as freaked out. Ooh, I think I just got stung on my leg. This might be a good time to put on the veil, guys, because some of them are gonna get aggravated. It may look like I'm fully protected, guys, but really, there's a lot of flaws in this suit. I thought it was better, I bought it off Amazon. It was the cheapest one I saw because I don't, I'm not really gonna need it after moving these guys. We'll see how it holds up. Let's go back in here. Whew. That, guys, that for me, that's the closest I've ever really been to this hive. There, you can hear all the bees inside of that statue. Their sound is reverberating. We're gonna have to move this first here. Maybe blow a little bit more smoke in this area. Just calm down these guys. They're being real calm right now. They're buzzing all around me. All right, so Daniel has put the camera up there. We have to be so careful right now, guys. Ow, I just got stung. Ow. <laughs> Wet. Guys, they're attacking me. This thing must be full of honey. Ow. <laughs> So that was the first major step, guys. I got stung probably like six the times. Bring the camera. Yeah. Bring the camera. Let's see. Check Dude, this out, guys. Look how full this thing is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Dude. Dude, this what is are we gonna crazy. Do? I don't know how we're gonna work around this. 
Guys, we gotta smoke them a bit. This thing is filled with honey. Look, look at that, guys. How are we going to find the queen now? I really don't know. Check this out. We're calming them down a little bit now. But guys, this hive has been here for like three, four years. I don't really even know. That's just when we noticed it. The thing is, they let off a pheromone when one stings that they say, that's the enemy, that's the predator right there. Attack and all those other workers will get me. So it's a surprise how calm a lot of these guys have been. You can see a lot of them are just on the floor. Look at that, guys. They're not doing too bad right now. We've calmed them down pretty good. That's their entrance and exit though. This has been where they've been making their home for the past couple years, non-touched by any predators. I really don't know how we're gonna find the queen in here. Do you guys hear that? Absolutely insane. So we're gonna start working away at all this stuff, but look at this honeycomb here. It's just old and used and it's built this nastiness on it. We're gonna put that there. We don't wanna save any of that. Look at these little bees down here though. How crazy is that, guys? Oh, he's on me now. The bees really don't wanna hurt us, except for when we really provoke them. But even still, we didn't really get stung too bad. So we're gonna start working through this. We're probably gonna have to put the camera down because Daniel's gonna be helping me. This is gonna be a lot of work, but we'll, we'll let you know once we get broken into this hive and uh, see what the next step has to be. We are pulling out just globs of honey and honeycomb it's capped it has little pupa in it little baby bees that you can see in this piece really well they're white you can see them there just the tips of them look at all the honey that's on our gloves now i feel really bad look we'll break this in half and you can see all of the babies inside of there all the little bees that will hopefully still be able to live in our new hive that we're setting up for them now we wanna put this, like we said, into these frames. We're probably gonna need more rubber banding. This is so crazy, guys. Really one of the coolest things I've done. You squeeze that and all this fresh honey comes out. I really, really wanna eat some of it right now, but I can't. Oh, this is a big piece here. Ow, ow, I'm getting stung on my back. Trying to be real careful as to not squish the bees. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that a queen? Hold on. I think that's a queen. I think that's her. You I think, think that's the queen. That's her. I Guys, think. I think we found the queen. That looks like it, right? Look, you can see how big she is compared to the other bees, all the babies in the same piece of comb. So we want to keep her on this piece of comb. So hopefully she stays here, doesn't move, and stays in the next hive. Let's yeah. get the queen. Get her on the board. We're going to put her in, guys. Guys, look at this. Just pulled this big piece out. I'm gonna lay it down here. We still, I'm not exactly sure if we found the queen yet. It looks like the queen, the one that we have, but we still wanna make sure that she, there isn't another one or she isn't left in here. Wow, there are so many bees. Look at all these bees right here. Check this out. They're all over the head of that gargoyle. I don't even wanna touch them. We're gonna let them be. They're doing their thing there. All right, so I feel like I'm in Ghostbusters right now. We're gonna have to shop back some of these bees. It doesn't hurt them, it just collects them in there and then we dump them into their new box. So, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Guys, we're getting attacked. Look how many bees are all around me. Ow, I'm getting stung, ow! I've been stung probably a hundred times, maybe not a hundred, maybe like 50, I don't really know. I'm gonna have to see. There's stingers all in my gloves. One even got up inside my glove in my finger. It really doesn't feel good. Look at good. them on your back, wow. Is there on my back? Yeah, they're all trying to sting you. They're trying to sting me. I've tried getting most of them off, but we're basically done here. I mean, look at all of this honeycomb that we pulled out here. Now, oh. this one's all capped off, as you can see. Some of it could be good, but you know what? All of this, we're gonna be putting inside of these frames because we want them to have some food and place to live while they're making the transfer into the new hive from the gargoyle statue. So let's get this set up just <laughs> like that, guys. So awesome. We're gonna put it right here, try to fit it in between these. Oh, Ow. Daniel's getting stung. Daniel is a champ, guys. 
He has an Instagram, I'll link it down below. T is a true legend, but we got these guys in here. So I'm gonna put him like this because we're gonna dump the bees in right now, guys. Watch this. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is going to be crazy. Daniel's probably gonna have to run. All right, watch this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh Look wow. Cap it. I'm just gonna put it like this for now. Oh wow, guys. Put the thing on top and like just shuffle it a bit, yeah. Go like this, I think. I don't know. I'm getting stung so bad. No, go away, go away. Ow. Yeah, ow. Go away. Ow, ow. They're attacking me. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. They're totally away. I'm Stay good here. <laughs> ah! No, I'm not. Ow. That was like 10 stings in a row. That was a bad one. Hold on, I just I had, can... it went in my glove. There's a bunch on your back. All right guys, so quick break. I had to drop Daniel back off because he's actually going back home. He's actually driving all the way to New Jersey. New Jersey. So, so crazy. But guys, I wanted to thank Daniel for helping me out today. You guys can check out his page. Daniel. No worries, man. That was thank awesome. You. Daniel got stung today. Awesome having him down. Let's go back to the hive and check out what's going on. As you can see, the bees have calmed down. Calmed down enough for me to wear normal clothes, no veil, no nothing. They are still under the gargoyle, so I'm a little worried that maybe they're gonna want to go in there, but as you can see, we plugged up the head of the gargoyle so that they could not go inside. As you can see, there are a ton of bees going in and out. They use this back area to go in and out of the hive. But the closer I get, guys, I think they are getting angry. Even though they've calmed down, they still remember what happened earlier and are disturbed today. It's gonna take a little while for them to fully calm down and get back to normal. They have a lot of work to do to build this hive up and I can't wait to show you the progress on it. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it even though I got stung a bunch of times. But anyway guys, thank you so much and I will see you in the next adventure. Peace.